Morning, gents. He's got a point, Pep, hasn't he? Surely. Yeah, yeah, definitely has. I, I don't know why they, they've not pushed them back to Sunday, to be fair. I don't know what their implications are next week, in, uh, midweek, game-wise. I don't think they've got any. So it, it, it makes no sense at all why they didn't push this one back. And it's a brilliant game. I thought it'd be a Sunday afternoon game, you know? Um, Newcastle started off flying. I was just saying to Radio Stu, the way they're working for each other, there's so much confidence, so much togetherness on that side now. There certainly is. To be honest with you, I think they'll win the league this year. I'm going to stick my neck out. I think Newcastle, with the recruitment they've done, wow. and how, how they've just sort of uh, just gone in, how things are at Newcastle. I've been up there a couple of times last year and the place is absolutely rocking. I think if they keep keep everyone fit and have a good run at it, and I think this game on, on uh, Saturday evening could be a in- good indicator about whether they have got credentials Ray, for you're, you're shaking uh, I can't. Be- I can't believe Alan Stan his money then, uh, <laughs> because he's back to Arsenal. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> he's a dreamer. Oh, he's back to Arsenal. He is a dreamer. He, he's, he used to have seen his face when you said Newcastle. Really I cannot leader. see past But you're right, though. I, I look at the bench. I, can, I look at the bench, Stu, and even at the weekend, they're bringing Wilson on. Yep. Um, they've got Harvey Barnes coming on, making a... You oh, know, they are, you, right? you know they've, they've got some real good depth... And you know they'll go again. Maybe if if they're if they're there and thereabouts in January, you you know there'll be signings again for Eddie. Uh, and as well, Stu, you look at Newcastle; it'd be rocking, wouldn't it, for the Champions League games? I mean, St James's Park on any on any, any evening would be uh, absolutely lively. But for Champions League, any team going there, they won't like going to that atmosphere. Ray, when when I went up there to play many years ago, I couldn't believe the atmosphere when I walked in there. It was just incredible. Like, I, you know, yeah. probably arguably one of the best I've ever played in for the excitement and intensity. Then that all dropped away sort of thing over the resulting years and whatever. But I'll tell you what, I'd never known excitement and euphoria up there at the football mm. club and the city as it is at the moment. It's brilliant. And I think... To be fair, I think with Manchester City losing De Bruyne for a length of time, I think that will impact directly on Haaland as well. So I think that will hurt them a lot, you know. So that's, that's probably why I'm looking at uh, Newcastle. Stewie, on the back page of the Sun this morning, old pal Martin Blackburn is reporting that Cole Palmer will tell City he wants to leave if he can't get regular football at the Etihad. If you're Pep, do you give him a little tug say, look, son? Just keep doing what you're doing. Your time will come, but don't be giving it the big one in the papers. Uh, listen, I think that will be speculation. If I was a kid of his age, I'd just keep my head down and, and probably look at what how he dealt with Foden. You know what I mean? It was probably the right thing what he mm. done with Foden as well. You know, just keeping him in house and whatever. So uh, Cole Palmer might get his opportunities. There's a lot of games in the season, so um, when you open your mouth, you've got to. Make sure you back that up. I don't think he'd say that. I'll, I'll be surprised if he did. Stu, big game tonight for Forest. Uh, first home game. I thought I was at the game of the Emirates. And first half, they just sat back a little bit. Just let, yep. You know, Arsenal have the ball. But second half, they made some really good changes. And, it, you know, they got back into the game and nearly ne- ne- could have nicked an equaliser. So that would stand them in good stead tonight. But Sheffield United will be a, a tough team to uh, break down and... Uh, it's all on Forest tonight, isn't it? Maybe to get the three points if, if they come out like they did in that second half. It definitely is. As I say, these are the games, Ray, I think that dictate whether you, you're going to be struggling in that relegation zone or, or not and where you uh, end up in those positions. The bottom line is Forest will be looking at this and thinking, we've got to beat Sheffield United if we're going to stay away from the relegation yeah, zone yeah. this season. And, and Sheffield are saying, let's not get beat there. Now, it's not in the telly, so if you want to hear it, as you've got to listen to TalkSport, Nottingham Forest against uh, Sheffield United. Stu, just a quick one on West Ham. Uh, they've got to push for Harry Maguire, haven't they? Surely, just give them the extra money and get them down there. Yeah, I think the ball's in Harry's court more, more so than West Ham's, you know, I th- from what I can uh, see from the, how- from the outside. Uh, I, I've always said I think he'll be a brilliant signing for, for West Ham if they manage to get him over the line, but I think that there's a little bit of give and take at Man United, isn't there? And uh, I think Ten Hag wants him out the door, but there's there's an issue of him wanting money to leave and all that type of thing. So whether that gets resolved or not, I don't know. But I think West Ham certainly could benefit with him. Nice one, Stewie. Enjoy the weekend. Cheers, Thanks, Jim. pal. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.